Hey, there's Mark. Hot Wheels has a new VW in the lineup. It's a 2020 new model, the 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug. It's kind of a smaller model. It's in the tuned segment. As you can see, it has uh, funky proportions. This one is new for 2020, but it's not the first tuned Volkswagen. You had the Volkswagen Beetle, which was a 2010 new model. This isn't that color, though. It's definitely tuned. Look at that engine. Uh, extreme proportions. It's not kind of a cute buggy shapes. Nice wood paneling, though. On the back of the Hot Wheels packaging, they have a little information bubble. Now, it's a 2020 new model, but they copyrighted the model last year in 2019. This highly tuned Baja Bug is animated for action and ready to take on any terrain, real or imagined. As I mentioned, this is not the new model. Uh, back when this was released, these were called uh, first... No, it was called new models back in 2010. It actually got three colors in its inaugural year. My new models packages are in storage at the moment, so I borrowed these images. On the back, 2009 Wolfsburg, Germany. It was born in 2009. Again, it's a 2010 new model, but they copyrighted it the year before because that's when they made the model. With an exposed, blown Volkswagen engine, big blower scoop in rear, modified Stinger exhaust, and huge tires, this Beetle was made for bugging out. Maybe you have this sample in your collection of the regular Volkswagen Beetle. It's not a tuned version. It was in the Checkmate series. There's a black version and a white sample. I have some colors to show in a moment. This one was, was released in 2018. That was Mattel's 50th anniversary. This, this model's been around a long time. Long time. That one right there is 20 years, actually over 20 years old now. Wow, 25. Now that I think about it, 25 years old. Back then, they didn't have information bubbles on the back. Actually, I think the Baja Bug is older than 20 years as well. Didn't even dawn on me until right this moment. But let's go ahead and open up the tuned 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug. They just give it a regular name. And then it's a tuned version. Plastic base. Metal body. When you look at it like this, it almost looks like it has a face on it. I don't know if they intended it with those headlights. Kind of makes it looks like it's smiling at you, actually, now that I think about it. Didn't notice that in the package. As you notice, though, it's a narrow in the front and it's wide in the back. I don't know, did they do that with the other versions? No, see, it's a, it's straight on the sides. So this one, if you're going to play with it, it's probably better for a drive around type car. Plastic engine in the back. Here you go, plastic base. M45 base code, that means it was produced in 2019. M is for 2019. 45 is for the 45th week, and it's for the other information. Kind of hard to show on a chrome base, but uh, there you go. If you notice, it does not have the name on the base. I don't see it yet. Let me see. No, no room for that long name on the base, but uh, if you need to know, see that code right there? GHB57. I think that's what the code was. Let's look on the back of the tag here. Uh, GHB57, that's that's the code for the model. So if you forget the name, you can search the in internet and it'll, it'll find the names. Just search for Hot Wheels space and then that code. If you notice, it does have light blue windows. Looks good, goes with the paint decoration. Now it's a Baja bug, so they do have the light bar in the front. In the back, uh, air-cooled engine. Big. <laughs> Big pipe sticking out the back. This part is plastic. It doesn't bend very easy, but it is plastic. A fun model for you to collect. Now, this is the 70 Volkswagen. This one here actually does not have a year attached to it. It's just called the Volkswagen Beetle. Now, this sample right here, you can see it has the plastic engine. Uh, I mean, exhaust in the back. This is a plastic part. Uh, it's had quite a few releases. This one was obviously quite likely in a flame series. Now, if you have this one from a couple years ago, I'm looking at the back real quick, uh, around the 2015-2016 era, era. This one, full metal engine. Uh, I don't 
I did a video on it before. But anyway, so there are variations. Full metal, and it looks like uh, uh, more modern times, full metal. But actually, this is, this is probably five years old. I don't know if they'll do a full metal engine anymore. What else do I have in the back? Uh, well, let's just compare it real quick to a regular Volkswagen. One thing with Hot Wheels models, they're made a certain scale to fit in the blister. Um, so it's, it's kind of big compared to what a real car would, what a real Volkswagen would look like. Like this uh, GT40 right here. Um, you know, the Volkswagen would not be almost the same size as a Ford GT. Actually, this Ford GT40 is kind of big for what it is. Uh, uh, Funny cars like this tend to be kind of longer. And so if you look right here, you know what? I, I, I don't think a GT40 LM is going to be about the same size. And then when you put the bug, they did make it a little bit smaller, but I, I think it's quite a bit smaller than that. Now here's the other, the Baja bug. In proportion, I mean, this is probably closer to proportion in length with a regular car. Not that the uh, funny cars, a regular car. Here's a comparison in the size for the uh, tuned Baja Beetle compared to a regular Volkswagen Beetle. Now, I got these in the back, speaking about regular Beetles. So this one uh, obviously has Herbie the Love Bug decorations. This one was a basic treasure hunt a few years ago. I'll talk about this one as well as that super special 25-year-old green one in the back right after this break. For those of you who do not know, Hot Wheels kind of puts, uh, well, they put chase cars in their assortment. So they will have, uh, per each case code, there's 15 a year. They will have like a basic treasure hunt that's in almost all the cases, but it'll only be one per case. And they have super treasure hunts, which are not in every case, and they're a lot harder to find. But basic treasure hunts since 2013 in the uh, decorations, they will have a circle flame logo. It's a little hard to see. It's blended in pretty good. If you look right there, there's like a, a, a circle and then a flame logo inside of it. That's a basic treasure hunt. Fun decos. It was, it's definitely one of the be better basic treasure hunts to collect from that year. In the back though, that green. Yeah, from the first year of treasure hunts, you have the Volkswagen. Same casting, basic, it's a regular uh, Volkswagen. Volkswagen Beetle. This was in the first year, 1995, when Treasure Hunts first started. They did not have a Circle Flame logos or anything. They didn't start that until 2013. They had it on models before that, especially like 2008, 2009. But when they used it before, it wasn't the Treasure Hunt indicator. In this era, the Treasure Hunts were really limited. It said Treasure Hunt on the package, so you, you definitely knew you were getting a Treasure Hunt. This is when the Volkswagen Beetle had a metal body, metal base, made in Malaysia. Copyright uh, 1990, it's kind of hard to see, 1988 it looks like it says. That is, that is the date that they copyrighted the model. Not when this was made, that's the copyright of the uh, tooling. Now with the treasure hunts, they put special wheels, even though this is uh, pretty rare. They have plastic tires. Some treasure hunts uh, would have rubber tires, but uh, this one got uh, plastic tires, but it has these special wheels. I'm trying to think of the name. I think it was called Hot Hubs. I think that was the name, Hot Hubs, because it was a Hot Hub series. Anyway, we have a few. So uh, I still have the Baja bug to show you. These were the uh, regular Beetle. This was the uh, tuned version. This one's going to be uh, last. I'm just going to give a peek. I'm not going to talk about it too much. Speaking of the Baja, those are Baja bugs, Baja beetles. I picked a couple samples that are favorites in my collection. This one was part of a Grateful Dead series. It has a couple dancing turtles. The, now, this was a premium car. This was, at the time, in the $4 range. It has rubber tires, metal base, metal body, metal base. Now, when you look at the production code, you can tell when it was actually produced. G, uh, if you start, I think, in 2008, was A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So about 2000, 
I lost track. <laughs> I lost a silly goose. Anyways, here's a look at the hood decoration. Another dancing turtle. This one was a regular issue. Mm, I forget what year. 97, 98. It was in the Dealer's Choice series. Series. There you go. The uh, Ace of Spades. The prettiest card in the deck. In the rear, or more modest mo modified engine. I don't believe that looks like a real Volkswagen Baja Beetle. Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess Baja Beetles by name are customized, aren't they? Again, this is back in the day when, uh, according to Hot Wheels, when they could afford making metal bases and metal bodies. And just real quick, I did a story on this in another video. Hopefully I can find that story and I'll link it or I will snip it if I put it like in another presentation and then uh, upload that separately. A46 is a base code or A46 and on the base custom Volkswagen Beetle metal base metal body. When this was introduced look it had an opening hatch. That was pretty cool but uh, nowadays that part has been tooled with the body and no longer has an opening feature. I'm almost positive all of these models have appeared in race grooves or track time videos. Well, now you have a uh, Baja, a tuned Baja, a slug bug, and a tuned slug bug. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting, and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.